Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another lovely game of Chef. Now, the restaurant looks a lot different from the last episode. Um, well, let's just say we recorded the episode two and um, lots of audio issues. For some reason, just didn't record the way it should have. So we're just going to give a recap. Um, and then the last episode, we, as you see, we expanded out a little bit, hired some more employees. Um, we're trying to finally go into the theme of uh, our chef, adding more uh, kind of Asian dishes for now, like uh, chicken broccoli, beef broccoli. We'll probably get some uh, stir fries going on soon and then turn those into actual stir fries. Or are these already stir fried? Yeah, they're stir fried meat, so that's good. Um, we'll probably actually go into uh, trying to do stir fried noodles soon once we get the XP. How many XP points do I need to do that? Or do I just have to do something else? Pasta. Pasta there. Uh, paella. Rice bowl. Ooh, we can make poke bowls. We can probably do, oh, we can do some ramen. Um, no, I'll probably look at another one shop for that. Mm, we can do some, uh, some nice things dumplings as well so yeah italian language lessons so yeah we gotta worry about uh, upgrading those later too um seafood wise well, we can actually add some sushi to the menu uh some fish stew oh yeah, not bad not bad and of course sandwiches and burgers if you want to go the burger route at another place so yeah definitely for now let's see how we're um, it looks like they're holding up quite well. It is the weekend, so they're probably filling up. So let's uh, just speed up time while I look at the recipe editor and uh, try to figure out any new recipes I want to do. If we have the ability to make cold beverages now, I can probably start adding once I get more uh, liquor options unlocked or lemonades. Sauteed vegetables, deep fish, but I'd have to get a steamer, grilled fish. Yeah, yeah, meat tartars and everything. So yeah, definitely we got plenty of restaurant uh, options to choose from. Uh, let's see here. No one's waiting in line. That's good. We got more XP. That's great. Okay. To start planning out our plan of attack. Mm -hmm. We can add a rice ball uh, set of menu to the uh, appetizers. Pretty much revamp the appetizers from just bread to something more profitable. And just selling loaves of bread with some butter and toast. <laughs> selling toast over there. And we gotta do that because our plan of attack is going to be. As uh, the cursed episode would have been, we're going to start flipping this around. We're going to try to get more lower class people in and less cheapskates in. Because we, they'll pay a lot better than the cheapskates will. And uh, that's the dynamic I want to push. And that's the plan. And if I could do things right, we could pull uh, these high paying people in. So yeah, I'm going to try to price out the cheapskates in the near future. So it looks like we got some more ingredient points so let's try to get tier three rice because we're going to be making some rice balls soon and uh, i might be able to upgrade these uh dishes too once uh they start dropping things tier three rice which would be pretty nice to have those okay so we want to keep watch at this point because uh we do have quite cooking times, right? Two minutes. Um, some of these meals are taking like 15 minutes each. Kind of rough. So I want to make sure that we keep that in check too. Got two more experience points. That should be enough to push into rice ball tier two. So let's uh, jump to the recipe editor and try to figure out what we're gonna do. Kind of like a, a, a fish one. So, fish. So, we're going to do uh, a lot of ingredients. 
do some really weird fish out. Well, we'll just put down the cod for now. Let's switch some stuff. I want to make like some weird onigiri that tastes horrible. Mm. Oh, salmon. We can do salmon. Salmon's good. Yeah. We can do a salmon onigiri. Yeah, that, that would be fun. Okay, so we got tier three rice. And they want 80 grams or more. How many ingredient points do I have? I have some ingredient points, so let's unlock. Mm. What stuff do we have? So we'll get soy sauce eventually. So let's set it to Mirin to uh, enhance everything. There we go. Got our rice. Put some Mirin in here. We need four spices. Um, so I need spices right away. Um, probably not right now. Yeah, so let's add some salmon. This little spicy just so we got that um, veggie power. I need two veggies in here. Um, put some garlic stones and some mushrooms. Uh, need three or more. That gives me all the bonuses, even though I don't want half the stuff in here. But we can work with that for now. We can work with that for now. So we got some good flavors. It takes eight minutes to make this rice ball, which I'm okay with. So um, let's make Lord Salmon Onigiri. That will go into our menu. With our 32% cost, that's 756. So we will be charging 775 for this. And Quiche Lorraine, since you're our lowest rank item, goodbye. And we're back to having our full dish. Actually, I think I'm gonna put more fish in here. I want I want the fish to sizzle in there. There you go. Now it's considered seafood. Which means I'm gonna have to bump the price up. 351 now. Charging, let's see, ten ninety six. We're charging eleven dollars for this. Aha! Uh -huh. We're already pricing them out. We're expensive now. Which I like. All right, let's go through the day a little. We got some more points. Um, can I push some of our units out? We're upgrading here, right? A few more points here for a lot more upper class and, and more food enthusiasts and gourmets. So we'll lock that in. And uh, let's keep watch because uh, I might have to add extra tables. We're kind of short on money right now because, uh, well, we had to grab more stuff to upgrade this place the other day. And uh, it was worth the upgrades. We upgraded the equipment in the kitchen which should immensely help. And of course, paying extra salaries and everything doesn't help our cause either. But uh, I believe two hostesses, two waiters, and two bussers will be the way. Um, okay, so we got some more points here. Um, we got some meeting in there. Let's add some sake to the menu. Actually, put some nice tier two sake on the menu. Mm, we'll set this by evaluation. Let's put some good sake on the menu. And how much is the good sake? The good sake is nine twenty-two, which 
means I can charge $29 for it. That should push more cheapskates away too. So that's our goal, let's just push all the cheapskates away. Stir fried meat. So if I, let's say I upgrade the uh, noodles to tier three, I'll probably be able to. The prices are outrageous, you're ripping off people. Uh, we have to feed our families. So we have families to feed, I'm sorry. I only lost 10 in pop popularity there, which is okay. Um, okay, that's what I was worried about because now we're getting more customers showing up. So let's add a few more tables, even though we can't afford them right now. Three more tables. more customers and the more customers we can get in the more money we can make the more money we can make you know easier the bills get especially once we can start upgrading everything around so let's see we got another influence point to max out that neighborhood which i'll probably do at the end of the day so far Probably not gonna break uh, even today because I bought three tables. But as we as we price out customers, we might be able to get a little more. So let's start thinking about other dishes we can make. We want stuff that are fast but easy too. So um, stir fried meat. do stir fried meat and we'll do maybe beef, lords, beef, lo mein. There we go. And then let's add, we'll go to tier three beef again. I think that's 150 we need. That's a lot of beef. Yeah. Then noodles in here and then some carrots some garlic some mushrooms some onions um, i don't have any soy sauce oh i can get a soy sauce though where's the soy sauce we have soy sauce let's add soy sauce to this recipe now we got some soy sauce Easter sauce up to 14 minutes I think 14 minutes is just basically the cooking time of this meal yeah it's probably gonna be beef so now we need a fat bag and of course I'm gonna put the tier 3 olive oil in here and we need a lot more oil so level 2 or more huh there we go so that is a beef lo mein okay and that is eight dollars and eight cents. At a staggering thirty-two percent food cost, that is twenty-seven fifty. We can charge on the menu for this. A staggering twenty-seven fifty. Lord's beef lo mein. Twenty-seven fifty. And we're gonna get rid of the BLT. Goodbye. So we're costing out these people. We're adding these options in. We're adding more meat. And we need more. We're at max carbs too. So that, that's getting there. And they don't think it's expensive yet. So we still have people leaving, but we can't exactly expand yet. We spent a lot of money already, and I don't want to actually lose this. So we're doing good there. Um, let's go ahead and make the. All right, I 
Actually, we got some chef points I can do. So we got stir fried meat at tier two, grilled meat at tier two. Sauteed rice at tier two, which means I can start adding fried rice. There we go. We got some fried rice at tier two. So let's go ahead and just run this through. So we finish the day because uh, right now we're in a situation where we're having a lot of issues. They're taking longer to cook because I have been I have more items that require cooking. We have any speed buffs in this current kitchen? Uh, we have one. We could add another one. Try to speed things up a bit. Um, where? So that's we're stack. We're at the stack limit. Well, we're nearing the stack limit for that. So I don't want to push it anymore. But that will help us a bit. Start adding shrimp too. Like the shrimp lo mein and stuff. Let's do that. Mm, yeah, let's do some shrimp and black broccoli too. Do I have stir fried? Oh, I don't have stir fried uh, seafood yet. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll have to think about that later, but let's do sauteed rice because I can do a Lord's House. Just do a combo of it. So we have our tier three rice. And then it's meat. Chicken. And of course pork. This is roast pork. Some beef. And some shrimp. of rice. Oh yeah, we need a fat bag. So let's lower the meat portions down. Uh, let's raise them a little beach bit in each tier. Because this is gonna take forever to cook this, so I need to make sure that we don't push our rules. So up parsley, rosemary, cilantro. Actually, we'll put some chili peppers in there, and then vegetables, carrots, some garlic, some mushrooms, some onions, okay. and then a fat bag. We're going to add, of course, the olive oil, tier three olive oil, some soy sauce, some oyster sauce, and some sauce. Salt. A very, very comprehensive dish it takes 60 minutes to make, which I don't like, but it is what it is. Let's finish this round. Try to get like really high points. Chili peppers, rosemary, um, okay, so that's quite a bit, it's extensive, it's 521, takes 16 minutes to cook. That's going to be sold for 1650 And of course, as always, get to set up the main course but yeah why not right oh, special fried rice get rid of the chicken sandwich that's 880 that's 1650 uh, that's what it was 1650 
1850. Okay, so that's a good amount of food. It makes me wonder if uh, I need to get two more chefs for the kitchen at this point. Cause they're gonna be held at they're gonna be held up a lot now. So get Stefan and Diego. Should increase our cooking speeds, and that should help uh, quite a bit. That's two. No, that's one grill. Okay. That should allow it where we got three or four people on the counter. What is the single counter? Do we have the, Do we have the double counter yet? I do. Let's get rid of these. Pause the game. Get rid of these. That's four slots. Yeah, so today is the first day with our new menu. We'll see how that goes. We have another event today. Uh, tourist boom. Tourists are swarming the city, booking hotels, searching for places to eat. It will be a good time to open money out of them. That's good. Uh, <laughs> we got a menu that tourists will love. Okay, so, speaking of tourists. Um, Throwing random spices in. Spices. Um, stone, tarragon, strong sage, allspice, cinnamon, clove, dill, capers, bay, chives. Um, not bad. Let's uh, boost up the. Tier two pork and tier two prawns and then tier two salmon. Okay. That way we can start boosting those up later. Hmm. Let's see here. People aren't happy. That's probably because of the time it's taking us to cook everything, but we got plenty of kitchen space right now. Check everybody's XP. Mm. Purified seafood. We can put a point in there, but I'm waiting until I get two points there. Zoe, let's get you some more cooking speed on main course. Marie, uh, get you more fitness so you don't stretch out. Stress out so much. Mm. Ming Su, you're so fucking good. Isla, Isla. Better greeting people. Andre, let's get you some more fitness. Horda, more fitness. All right, there we go. Let's see. Uh, no one's standing outside waiting too long. we're accounting for everything and then we got food back in the kitchen we're making those sales we got tourists coming in um, check our reviews cheapskate can't believe how good the food was oh that's good 
The food that other food made me fall in love. Well, I'm glad. Prices are preposterous. I'm sorry. <laughs> Blue collar loves the everything here. I paid less than expected for a low class family. I ate an exceptional toasted bread. Well, you like my toasted bread. I'm happy. We got six points here. Um, oh, we got more tourists coming in. I already got the wine menu, right? Yeah, we got a red wine, white wine. Um, Get a 32 cent percent food cost. That's a 36 dollar portion, which instantly, finally, we cost out the cheapskates. Things at that point where we need to start just saving the money. I even if I'm if I, outside of the building costs. Making even, yeah, I'm making a profit. I spent eight dollars, eight hundred ten dollars yesterday to get this. And we're getting more of the good kind of customers today. Policies, we got marketing. We got people paying and getting out. Flyers. As long as we can start making money, I can start like boosting these items around. 40 different recipes on the menu, 50, at least 50, yeah, I'm beyond that. All must have the heavyweight fat, oh jeez. The average recipe price needs to be $5 or less. Jeez. Oh, oh it's only cheapskates will eat here, so I'd have to make food costs super cheap at this place. And it's all fatty foods. I get it. I get it. I get it. Fine. Um, I'll probably make a weird cheapskate building eventually one day. And I will, I will call it a breadtopia. It's just different forms of bread. Toasted bread, grilled bread. <laughs> All just sandwiches and open face sandwiches of different meats is all that. The service here is excellent. Uh, we had the most uh, pleasant experience. That's good. Popularity up. Um, let's boost people's uh, morale because they're like down in tier. And what about you? I'm oh, sorry, but I think I added too much salt. I'm sure I'll make you a new one. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm making more than $25. the five o'clock so we're about to start getting those big things in okay so we got more xp so what menu item do i want to add next to the menu we're gonna make a small sushi menu hmm or we can add the other stuff in um could add some uh dumplings yeah. Add two points and dumplings and pasta. I really want to push up here so I can actually make deeper stuff. Actually, do some poke. Do a nice poke bowl. We won't have a complete menu at this rate. Mm, at least four different recipes in each menu. That's a 10% to both of these guys, so I can remove that eventually. Okay, so let's make some food. Yeah, so we gotta we do a rice bowl. Mm. Lord's 
viewed on. Let's uh, start off with a nice little people. something and put on our menu acting towards you don't I did was this salted rice yeah that's the Lord's house special fried rice uh, let's boost up everything I can here too <laughs> we've upgraded a few things since then Lord's house Special fried rice. Lord's Gyudon now. Lord's Gyudon. And that needs to be high quality rice. Three different vegetables. I know there's well, we're gonna have onions in there. Uh, then maybe some garlic and uh, what a third one. Mm. Maybe some roasted garlic as well, like normal garlic, roasted garlic, just to get that out of the way. spices again pepper rosemary parsley that's the chili Soy sauce, some sugar, and some mirin for the salts. We got all the stuff we need to make a decent meal. So let's cut this back, cut that back, cut that back. And then we'll just boost everything little by little in order to give us some more food points. There we go. A nice little gyudon. It was five seventy nine. Eighteen twenty five for this. Lord's oh, gyudon. Eighteen twenty five. Goodbye, meat man. A sandwich. the same same ingredients and everything but the words oyaku you don't stick with uh, grilled chicken sandos next to go showing up that's not good okay that was worrying me for a second there i was like do we not have anybody coming in i was like oh no i know the prices are ridiculous but i didn't think i'd scare off that many people but speaking of which i think i need to upgrade our neighborhood action soon Are they mad with my pricing? Oh, they're happy with the prices too. Well, that's doing good there. Um, 
Let's see what we should make next. I'm watching Melander make sure we're cooking at a decent pace. It looks like we are. But it's probably because of some of those quick cook items that we have. Because I'm more concerned, like, what's going to happen once uh, we end up getting more things in the kitchen? Right now, we're still just in that early popularity, but once we get a lot, a lot of people are going to be coming. Let's uh, get some more neighborhood power direct up there into this neighborhood and dump up places there. All right. Let's take a look. Who have we been selling best to? Upper class tourists. I haven't shown up. Oh, that's just today. 6150. That's not bad. White collar's been good. Gourmets haven't shown up today. That's not that's not bad. Yeah, as you can see, the two cheapskates we had today had an average of eight dollars. Food. And the two food enthusiasts that showed up spent double the cheapskate. And that's what we're we're wanting. We want to at least get a situation where we can start marketing to get certain customers in. And then at the same time, push for uh, more money coming in. But I need to, you know, start making profit every day. Uh, we're still in the negative, which I don't like. How's our balance sheet today? Food, not looking that great. Unless things skyrocket in the next hour. o'clock and no one's coming in well at 11 o'clock people start and stop coming in so it doesn't matter who's left food items are cooking out pretty quickly we got a five person kitchen that's making up a lot of the workload for us and we have 11 people left in the building Two tables left. And the final table. Come on. I know you guys can do it. I bet you guys want to. Hmm? Come on. Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Yeah, so once they leave. We're negative 713. So we did make another profit today, just not enough for me to warrant like anything major. How much would it be if I market to try to get some more uh, blue collar workers to come in? Actually, you know, lower, lower budget family. That is $120 a week. All right, that gives me 60%. Then uh, we'll hold off of that. We'll do a little marketing to see how that works out. Maybe we can pull a bunch of customers in. At least that's the goal. Watch the see if that extra little bit helps out. Because uh, we're spending one hundred and twenty dollars. On marketing alone but that marketing should be able to push me into the next tier and that's what I'm hoping for hmm. Got lots of tables tables aren't filling up but we got a steady flow of customers today Some more two tops. Gotta watch this because uh, I think I saw one four top get one customer earlier. So I have to I have to figure out if I need to expand on the two tops. Because I, I don't want like all the four top tables, but just one person. Okay, so we got more points. Let's add a. Hmm. Let's see here. 
ini turun menu dan then eventually we can add both of them when we do Interesting. Oh, Dashi. Yep, 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 definitely Dashi needs to be in here. Because then I can uh, properly make food items. Uh, have an event. Service is excellent. My staff are great. Somebody try to bribe us with money. Um, yeah, get out of here. Just get out of here. Barbecue pig and scallops. Let's add a brandy to the menu. And that's a dollar six. Three thirty-one. Unfortunately, all my drinks are at a minimum of five dollars now. That's the minimum of all the drinks. Lord's Kitchen. Let's go ahead and go to Forex Feed. I want to see how the marketing looks for us. Popularity grows. Okay. So popularity has gone up a tier, which means I should be getting more customers soon. I'm probably like, I don't want to show up yet which uh, hurts because eventually we want to get to the point where we are so popular that people line up and literally leave because there's no seats because that's the end game goal so far we have a kitchen that's too big way too big of a kitchen We're not use up any of our cooking slots, which is amazing. We're actually pumping out food pretty quickly, which uh, I really like to see. It's 8 p.m. and we're still kind of dead, which I don't like. Popularity is tearing up. Um, we gained 2% from tier 2 popularity. Depending on how much profit we make today with this current menu, we'll determine if I start uh, bumping up some pricing or actually not bumping up the pricing, just increasing our marketing. Uh, marketing costs can make or break us right now. And uh, that's what we need to do is just get into the marketing costs. PM, so we're not getting any more customers tonight. So we have 12 people left. No more cooking. So it's just waiting for these people to leave. Okay, so two tables. Done, done, done. All right. So it looks like we may have made a substantial profit. Of yes. Which means drop back. Increase our marketing budget. Um, get more. Mm, we could pull in like low level people. Gloves. Oh, yeah, I can't pull in the people I want. So, beauty, some low budget service. Increase that. So, our marketing budget's up a little bit more. Then, blog. Gotta get some food enthusiasts. Yeah, we'll, we'll bump that up. Because now we're just working on just playing around with the, uh, the actual things. So, let's see what we can think about. Uh, maybe add a 
whiskey to the menu next. And a vodka. Maybe a port wine. Port wine. Actually, no. Let's, let's take all these points away. Let's just add a port wine. Because port wine. I could be killing a port wine with the uh, vodka. Let's see. Port wine's 38 cents. Um, so let's wait until we get the good stuff. We get the brandy and the that there. The brandy's five seventy six. This is eighteen dollars for the brandy. That's forty three cents. So that's probably gonna be a five five dollar. Yeah, five dollar brandy. There we go. And then port wine. Yeah, we'll just put the port wine in there for five dollars for now. Okay. All right. Got some chef points. Let's figure out what we want to build with it. You know, let's uh, dump that into some ramen action, and then some dumplings. That pushes us up really close to twenty XP points. If once we get the twenty XP point, we can start doing preventative cooking, Italian lessons, just. Just building stuff around, like uh, quality sorting. But yeah, what we want to do more than anything is least get preventative cooking and Italian language lessons just to speed things up and then get into grandma's secrets and then everything will be super fast. But definitely that's going to be the next episode. We're going to start adding ramen to the menu and some, some uh, dumplings or gyoza, depending on what I feel like calling them. Definitely, if you guys like what you're seeing, hit the like and dislike, hit the dislike, and I will definitely, definitely see you guys in the next one.